Today, I'm going to talk about why I eat four eggs a day and why you should as well. Now, you're probably wondering why I consider myself an expert on eggs. That's an excellent question. Sorry, I just had to do that. But it's primarily because I've been eating so many eggs for so many years. That makes me an expert. But there's some really interesting information about eggs and why you should be eating more of them. Now, the first point I want to bring up is that you can't really tell um, how good an egg is by the color of the egg yolk. Well, at least recently, because they actually use synthetic coloring now that they give chickens to color the egg yolk on exactly what the farmer wants. And there's actually 15 different shades between yellow and orange that you can pick to determine what color your egg yolk is going to be. So unfortunately, the egg yolk nowadays doesn't really tell you about the amount of nutrition in that egg yolk. And they also use different colorings in the meat itself. So you can turn like a pale white color chicken meat into either yellow or a beige color. So apparently consumers uh, demand a certain color of their chicken meat and their egg yolks. But if you're not using these color dyes and you look at the actual color of the yolk, uh, you can tell how much carotenoids present in that egg. You can't tell the nutrition by the color of the shell, okay? Because they come in different colors. That doesn't give you too much data. The nutrition of an egg and a chicken is determined by how they're raised and what they're fed. And unfortunately, chickens nowadays just have absolutely no flavor. Uh, like the chicken breast is bland. They actually have to flavor it. I'm not kidding. Next time you go to the store, look at the label for chicken breast and you're gonna notice it has natural flavorings or even artificial flavorings because they're trying to make this tasteless bland piece of meat taste more like chicken. So unfortunately we have grown chickens for size and we want chickens that can grow fast because chickens are sold by the weight. Now in 2015, the cost of a chicken was like $7, okay? Now to me, that's actually pretty cheap because I mean, you have to grow the chicken, you have to take care of the chicken. How are you gonna make any profit at all if you have to feed the chicken grain? And most of these chickens that are sold conventionally are fed grain. They're not allowed to go out and eat bugs or worms or any of that. But in 1948, the cost of a chicken was like $3. Now, if we compare that to the dollar now, it would be like buying a chicken for $30. And that is because the quality back then is much greater than it is now. Now, before I get into the benefits of egg, I want to just quickly uh, talk about different terms uh, that they use for eggs. So you have free range eggs, right? Well, what does that actually mean? Well, it means that they're not in a cage. They are cage free, but it doesn't really mean that they can go outside. It just means that they have access to the outside and they don't define access. It could be some small little hole in the barn uh, that they never find. Also, the verification process on free range is not followed up with an on-site inspection. So there's a lot of gray areas when you talk about free range. And then when we get to cage free, it means that they're just outside the cage, which is a step up. And what about grade A? Well, that just means the shape of the shell is really nice and it has no cracks. So it's really just a marketing thing. Like I'm sure you never go home and go, wow, honey, I have some grade A eggs. They're perfectly round and they have no cracks. Then you have pasteurized eggs, right? That does not mean pasture raised, okay? Raised on a pasture outside. It means that they're heated, okay? which preserves them. It makes them last longer. And then you get uh, vegetarian fed, right? And yet this sounds very wonderful. Uh, vegetarian fed means you're feeding them grains like soy and corn, which are GMO. So I would recommend getting organic pasture raised type eggs. Now, what is better than that? Well, buy your eggs for, at a farmer's market, or if you have a little bit of space, raise your own hens and get your eggs that way. And uh, these are the type of eggs that they produce. Um, they produce a lot of eggs, even in the winter, which they're normally not supposed to produce. We have like 16 eggs every single day. So we're still trying to figure out what to do with all these eggs. But man, there's such a big difference between uh, these eggs that we're consuming and the eggs that you buy at the store. And I'm doing a lot of experiments on growing animals and also growing vegetables. 
testing certain things out in different soils, feeding animals different things to see what produces the healthiest animal and the healthiest plant. And I will be releasing this on a new YouTube channel, but I will say that growing your own chickens using organic grains without corn and soy uh, is pretty darn expensive. So we're experimenting on different ways of feeding animals that are not just healthier, but cheaper. I mean, check this out right here. This is called fodder. It's sprouted barley. You start with a certain amount of barley seed, and then you let it sprout for seven days, and it increases in weight by seven times. This is like crack for your chickens. They love it. So I will keep you updated on that very, very soon. All right, so now let's talk about the benefits of eggs and why you should be eating eggs. And just realize I don't eat my eggs for breakfast. I eat them at my lunch because I fast. Of course, it's a late lunch. It's probably around 2, 2.30, maybe sometimes 3 o'clock. So number one, the protein in eggs is superior. Uh, and what I'm talking about is the anabolic effect, which means the ability of that egg to help build protein tissues in your body, and the percentage of how much that egg protein is converted into body protein, like your muscles, your joints, and other proteins as well. So if we exclude breast milk, okay, protein is at 48%. So 48% is turned into body tissue. If we're talking about meat or fish, it's only 32%. And when we talk about soy protein, that's like 17%. And as a side note, egg white is only 17%. When you add the yolk in there, you get more utilization, which is interesting. And then whey protein is only 16%. So what happens to the other part of this protein? Well, it's converted into glucose and used as fuel. Now, there's another little thing about this I want to mention, and it's called insulin index. I talk about this in my book, but insulin index is the scale of how a non-carbohydrate food influences insulin. And whole eggs with the cholesterol have a much lower insulin effect than egg whites. So the more that you take out fat and have it as a pure protein, as in whey protein, the higher the insulin spike. So eggs, if you compare that to anything else, is basically the best protein for you. All right, next point is choline. Choline is really good for your brain. Choline acts as a bile salt in your liver. It helps break down cholesterol. So it's a good antidote for gallstones. It's a good antidote for a fatty liver. And then we get to lecithin, which is also another antidote for cholesterol to keep your cholesterol in check because eggs come with cholesterol. And a lot of people are concerned about cholesterol. Uh, in fact, there was a study out that said that when you eat eggs, it increases your risk for death from heart attacks by I think 17%. But I did a whole video on that. I will put the link down below. It's a ridiculous study based on a questionnaire. I wouldn't even call it a study because this association was so weak and they didn't talk about the million other variables uh, that could have caused heart attacks. And without getting into it too much, eggs will increase your HDL uh, more than the LDL, but that's for a different topic. Now, the other cool thing about eggs is that they have a good amount of vitamin K2, which keeps the calcium out of the arteries and keeps the calcium out of the joints. And eggs also have vitamin D. So vitamin D and vitamin K2 work together. And there's not a lot of foods out there that will give you vitamin D. Eggs also have vitamin E, good for the heart, good for the skin. And eggs are loaded with vitamin A, the type that's extremely bioavailable, and it's called retinol. So part of these pigments in the vitamin A complex are like yellow orange. So the deeper the color, the more the vitamin A you're going to get. And eggs have omega-3 fatty acids, okay? Especially if they're allowed outside so they can eat worms and insects. Eggs are loaded with the B vitamins, B1, B2, B3, B6, B12. Now, I did mention that I feed my chickens um, a organic grain without the soy, without the corn. That grain is fermented for three days to release a lot of the B vitamins and other nutrients that are locked up in that grain. And not only is that more nutritious, you can feed them less because it helps their digestion. 
Eggs also have trace minerals and minerals. Eggs also have carotenoids, okay? That is a nutrient-dense pigment that gives that yolk the color, but it also has a lot of health benefits, okay? Now, the two big carotenoids are, number one, lutein, which is yellow in color, and zeaxanthin, which is more orange. Both of these pigments greatly improve the eye. In fact, the greatest concentration of these carotenoids are in the eye. So they support the lens, the retina. They help prevent macular degeneration. They help reduce the blue light that you're exposed to with all your computers and cell phones, et cetera. But there's a lot of other benefits too for your brain as well. Now, one question that has been asked is how do you prepare an egg to maximize the nutrition in the egg? Because if you're going to heat it too much, you might destroy some of the uh, carotenoids. And so poached or over easy would be a great way to do that. Or if you want scrambled, what I'd recommend is crack the egg inside the pan, let the whites turn a little white, and then turn the heat down and then mix it up and scramble it after the white part has turned a bit white. This allows you to preserve a lot of these nutrients as compared to taking your egg in a bowl and mixing it up and then putting it in the frying pan. So now that you know the benefits of eggs, if you're a small person, maybe you only have one or two eggs. If you're a larger person, have three or four. And if you have any considerations about the cholesterol in eggs, you got to check out this video right here.